Masayoshi Kobayashi, the founder of the Flathead, in an interview not long ago, he said, good quality garments can be produced around the world. In order to Japan to survive in this business, you need to excel in the characteristics of your own garments. The review one then in front the flat head and see if the Kobayashi words are true. See you inside. Okay, this is our the flat head uh, jeans model D306, our uh, slim tupper for the uh, Western market. Let's talk about the brand self. The brand self born in 1996 as a thrift shop that where uh, Masayoshi Kobayashi started selling uh, vintage clothing and secondhand clothing from important from USA. The business was very successful and he decided to move to the production of the own clothing. Uh, he, his philosophy, his philosophy was to um, make American style uh, um, clothing with Japanese craftsmanship and try to keep as an artisan way. This, that's mean, join the old ways with the, with the new ways. Uh, is that, that, um, that is the philosophy that still is produced in small, is, is, small factories and not in one large big factory. Every factory has its own uh, um, his own production. That's mean some make the, the pockets, some cut the, the denim, some uh, stitch in the the, 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 the tags and, uh, and put the hardware and, and so on. That's something that is very, very interesting because it's really, really uh, is still is uh, an artisan uh, denim. Uh, the, the regrettable this company uh, suffered an, a, a backroomsy in 2019 where uh, Masayoshi Kobayashi stepped down from the uh, as CEO of the company and is taken over by Katsuya Mishasaka, who was a former managing director. They keep the same philosophy and they serve uh, they serve. Um, a change in the way they make the business, but still in the way they produce the goods or the denims and the, uh, and the other clothing is exactly the same. Uh, let's see now how is the characteristic of the gene before to move to the, to the measurements. I'm going to talk about the measurements at the end because I'm so, so um, uh, hooked by the way they produce the genes that they, they they have a heart. That is something that is, is something that first one, let's talking about the den itself you see you see the pattern from from the long this has a vertical pattern. This is the known as a pioneer denning. Yeah the the because it's the very very same den that they designed back in nineteen ninety eight. Look at this the patterns you can see the pattern how is vertical pattern that create a pattern for the the, the page too. This is one thing. This 14.5 ohms with the most of the denim. They used to produce um, 20 ohms by by uh, they stopped the production due to the difficulty to to deal with that uh, heavy weight uh, denim. But still, they they use the 14.5 ohms denim, the pioneer denim. In terms of the, the stitching, the stitching is not done uh, for one person. It's split in, in different persons who are stitching one gene. Let's talk about first uh, the, the, the small characteristics. So they use iron buttons. There are iron buttons. Okay, It has a coating to avoid the oxidation. Look at this. It has a blue stitch here. A blue stitch. I don't know if it's possible to see. To so don't make obvious and evident this part. And the same, the bar tacking, the bar tacking here is dark blue, but not make too evident this. The, the bottom holes, the bottom holes, this another another thing, post scalpel bottom holes. That means they stitch first the shape of the bottom hole and they cut through. That in theory give more resilience to, to the bottom holes and hold better in theory. I've seen this before in all, all products, um, this technique. 
but looks like it for them works really well. That's why you're gonna see some loose threads because uh, after sewing the shape of the bottom hole, they go through with the knife. Oh, it's scalpel go through the knife and open the bottom hole. That's why this, and they say this create a, super, a better support for uh, the bottoms. Uh, I don't know, probably yes, probably not, but not really know. Other thing, if you look up the, the stitches, yeah, it's got double stitches, double stitches here, double stitches. That is made with cotton and polycotton. Cotton and polycotton. This give a, a strength to the to the to the, the stitching. Look, I think it's more evident here. I don't know if you can uh, as can be seen. Then we have the signature solage inside pocket. The pocket is more similar to the to the Levi's. Yeah, this is more and 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 the way that Levi's produce his uh, buttons. You Not know, like Lee. Lee go all the way in. It has. Let's see the back. The back is the same. The same in terms of the how is how is uh, stitching the the the. Maybe it's more evident here. I don't know if you can see here. It's double stitching. Uh, it's poly cotton and cotton because the cotton give that special characteristic, but it's less resistant uh, and to to the to the wear. Then they added poly cotton to keep strength to this to these pockets. And and line it, and like completely align it. Yeah, and let's see the patch is gold skin. Code skin. This is 3436. Yeah, the, the, the model of the, of the uh, jeans. Okay, rivets. They say the rivets are oversized. The rivets are oversized and, and are branded. But I don't think, uh, compared with other rivets, I don't think that difference really. I, I don't think are over, that oversized or make different with other brands of jeans that I compare um, are more, 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 more very similar, very similar in terms of. I don't see uh, this oversized are copper. The uh, bed loops, the bed loops are rised bed loops. Let's see if I can this because this a nice characteristic when they fade, they fade to white in the middle when preserve the color in the size of the bed loop. Are not at attached to the waistband, okay? Are not attached to the waistband. Have you seen the loops? Same here. Not attached to the waistband. Are bar tacking, bar tacking, okay? Razor loops, bar tacking, and not attached to the waistband. Um, the see inside out. And um, this is really fantastic. The construction of the shins is. Fantastic, and the care, the detail, the level of the detail. This, these are, I think, are are one of the the things that you need to keep an eye on, in in terms of if you are a collector, everyone for this. We're going to take a, uh, uh, talking about the characteristic of the denim itself when talking about the measures. Then, high and rivets, high and rivets. You can see the high and rivets. They chain stitch all the way. Simple stitch in the edge of the um, the waistband, simple stitch, but all chain stitch is one color. Uh, sorry, two color: yellow. You can see yellow and uh, orange or gold. I you like to see. There is no there is no salvage on the on the in the um, on the fly. Okay, it's not salvage. The salvage on the fly, it's maybe it's better here. Yeah, the salvage, the salvage ID on the fly. Uh, this is a herringbone, uh, the pockets are herringbone uh, cloth, cotton, 100%. Very nice, by the way. The, um, the, how is the rivets are stamped, you see, and engraved here, and you can see it there. The, the pockets are not very deep, but are very strong. You see, and see, you see here. You can see better the pattern of uh, what they say about the the falling pattern. Okay, is the vertical lines. So you can see are more obvious than other jeans. 
that's what uh, drive the, the, the fades okay here we have the the, the savage okay chain, uh, chain stitch yes chain stitch or simple stitch look simple stitch really this looks simple stitch no chain stitch now don't change the simple stitch here yeah, so it here overlook it here and chain stitch here inside yeah. this yes chain stitch okay chain stitch overlook it and here so it's a simple stitch with this okay then this is more or less the characteristic of this then this then it is fantastic to my, 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 my point of view chain stitch on the here on the hem yes. sorry about this but now let's go for the measurements these are 34 this then is and some for ice and wash it. That's meant going to shrink. But keep in mind this: if you don't go aggressive with the, with the soaking or the wash, you're going to have 1.5 centimeters of shrinkage. I'm going to stretch back one cent, one inch, one point inch uh, the shrinkage. I'm going to stretch uh, back one inch. That means uh, more or less you're going to lose one a half an inch. Okay, then. Let's see. Where is my uh, here? Sorry, here is my. Let's see how is the, the measurements. This is thirty-four, and the measurements are eighteen, eighteen, eighteen here. That means it's thirty-six. Okay, thirty-six. They're gonna. Um, Gonna if I do aggressively, I never do very aggressive soaking. Usually, uh, um, cold water or put in the wash machine, and at least I'm gonna lose 1.5 inches and stretch back one inch. Um, if we this is 18, that means it's gonna be 34.5. But what I do usually is I wear this for one week, two weeks really, two weeks in daily basis until it stretch really well. When it stretch, then I, um, I do the, the, uh, the soaking or the washing. I wash usually and then uh, uh, the, the, what the difference I have in, in, in the shrinkage is, is minimal really, it's minimal. It's very hairy, very hairy denning. Okay. Let's see the let's see the tight. The tight is okay. Is 12, 12.6, 12.8. The front rise is is eleven. That means at least gonna be uh, fourteen after the the, the washing. And the, the, yeah, the washing or the soaking, always cold water. I use cold water and low spin. The back is 15. Uh, 15. That's mean that's gonna be low rise. Mm -hmm. This is our label as medium rise, but I think we're gonna finish low rise. And the hem, the hem here is eight, no, 7.9. 7.9. And the inseam, the inseam is thirty-eight. That means I'm gonna lose three inches. Thirty-eight. I'm gonna lose three inches. The one, two, it's gonna be in, in thirty-five. In thirty-five, at least, gonna be at the end. For me, uh, I need for no cuff. I need thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-one point five is the end. Then in terms of measurements are okay, then uh, for sure I'm going to wear these shins at least two weeks and then put in the, uh, in the soaking or the washing, depends. Uh, these shins I think are really worth it, are really worth it. And in, 
And if you like this uh, lightweight jeans um, or medium to lightweight, I think this is a, a good option. Let's go for a, the try on and the fitting test and see my final thoughts. <laughs> see you outside. Three. Okay, this is how uh, fit these jeans. See the front, okay? Are not tight really. Uh, side, the back, and the other side. Okay. Mm. One downside, the pockets are a little bit small. Remember, this has two double stitches, this uh, polycotton and cotton. Uh, but otherwise, um, I'm very happy with these jeans. Give you my final thoughts. Uh, before to, to give my final thoughts, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and give thumbs up. Uh, two things to consider in this in these jeans. Craftsmanship and then in itself. Pioneer then in uh, this pattern and the failing pattern um, make the difference um, when you own your own fades. And the craftsmanship is the attention to the detail is undeniable. These are really worth it. These jeans are really worth it. If you have a space in your wardrobe for one more pair of jeans, this is the way to go. See you in the next. Bye.